my name is Danielle. Uh, this is my first video um, in relation to this topic um, and I hope to be able to check in on a regular basis and show you progress, let you know decisions, talk about um, hardships, um, challenges and victories. So you might be wondering what it is about um, and it is about the topic of weight loss surgery. Um, I am a mum of three boys and um, this little girl um, who is five months old tomorrow. Um, I have got a six-year-old, no he's not six, he's five. Five-year-old, an eight-year-old and a twelve-year-old so um, as well which are obviously four boys. So I have been considering a weight loss surgery as an option for me since, um, well, since my oldest boy was two or thereabouts. Um, it's always been in the back of my mind of something that I would like to, to do. Um, haven't really known what to do, where to do it, how to do it, all the rest of it. So I've kind of sort of left it there as an idea. Um, I started seriously thinking about it again probably about four years ago. Um, and I looked into a few more options. It was at this time that I tried medication to help me lose weight, um, which worked really, really well, but um, family didn't like the side effects, so um, it sort of went away. Um, and then um, just after this one was born, so about four months ago, I sort of started thinking that when she was six months, I would start the ball rolling, um, thinking that it was going to be a long journey. And um, after a recent trip, from a friend who has had a gastric bypass, um, I started seriously thinking about it and working out how it was going to happen, where it was going to happen, why it was going to happen, all the rest of it. Um, and the ball started rolling a lot quicker um, and I have decided to go with it. So um, I first of all, I started looking for um, a, a surgeon that would offer me the bypass. That was the option I wanted to take. And um, not a lot of them will do that here unless you've got private health insurance, which I don't. So first of all, I had to look into ways to finance um, the surgery. Um, and we're quite lucky here that in Australia that if we've got a life-saving operation that can be done or life-saving, um, I suppose, expenses that we can dip into our super to grab that to help us with that because it is going to extend our lifespan. Um, and that also means that you, if your partners um, can, you can help your partner with your with your superannuation as well. So um, I've got full support of my husband, and I have to because I am going to be using his super to um, fit the ball. So um, as I said about three weeks ago, I started looking into this in more detail. Um, I found a place that would allow me to have the bypass, um, although they did prefer the sleeve. I rang them up and looked for, um, told them I wanted to make an appointment, thinking that the appointment would be three, four, five weeks down the track. Uh, and they said, hey, look, we've got a cancellation for Monday. And this was on a Thursday. Um, and so I booked that in. Um, I'll make another video about my first appointments because I had four of them. But basically that's what these videos are going to be about. Um, I still have my business videos um, on my channel, um, but I'll create a playlist for this journey. So um, I hope you'll, I suppose, what, keep an eye on me, ask questions, I'll try and answer them. Um, this will be my accountability, this will be um, my way of sharing information, as I say, my victories, because that's going to be what the journey is going to be full of, but it's also going to be full of a lot of challenges. Um, being a mum, being oh being a wife, being a carer, um working. Um, I work from home so I don't need to go out of the office. That's on my side. Um and yeah I will keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like this video, let me know that you're here, comment below and if you've got any questions yeah I'll be in touch. Bye bye for now.